Right now, imagine losing $150,000 over an email. Plus, do you pretend to be family for the kids' sake? Let's talk about it, y'all. The chat starts now. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the chat. I'm Tony Fox, Leanne Zahani, Angelia, all here today on Monday. How's everybody? Almost Good. Friday. It's Monday, yeah? Almost Friday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not, it's not close okay, enough, no, though. No, not close enough. And I stayed up late watching the ACM award show, so I'm a little tired today. Did but you? Whatever. Oh, gosh, yes. Every minute though. of it. It was great. It was a really good. It was a good show. It was a really, really good, good show. Yeah, so I agree. We're going to have a good show today. And yeah. we are starting with a crazy twist that has some golf fans upset today. Lexi Thompson, she was in first place at the ANA Inspiration Tournament on Sunday when a rules official stopped her and gave her two penalties worth four strokes for something that had happened a day earlier. It turns out someone watching the tournament from home sent an email tipping them off that Thompson had misplaced her ball on the 17th green on Saturday. Now, Thompson got a two-stroke penalty for the placement and another two for signing the incorrect scorecard. That put her down to a tie for first. She ended up losing in a playoff. Now, fellow pro golfers chimed in on social media in support of Lexi, including Tiger Woods, who wrote, viewers at home should not be officials wearing stripes. Let's go, Lexi. Win this thing anyway. Tiger Woods, who is has been the subject of viewers complaining about things he did most famously uh, at the Masters in 2013. Mm -hmm. So Angelia, you were the big golfer here mm -hmm. and you were watching this. Okay, so first of all, this had happened the day before. Right. And they actually went back and they penalized her for something that already happened. The day was over 24 hours earlier. That's this, what happened, correct? This, that's what happened, exactly. And this was, I mean, to get this straight, this was just a simple tap in. And anybody who's not a golfer, that's about a foot away. Right. Okay. I mean, these are professional golfers. She's on the LPGA tour. Right. Lexi is an amazing golfer. There's no way she would have missed this, I mean, with her blindfolded. So that's what was infuriating to begin with. But the second thing that was so infuriating was the fact how they brought this up. The mm -hmm. uh, LPGA official came out to when she was almost, uh, she was on uh, six holes shy of finishing the course the second day. Right. So that's how they brought it up to her as she was almost finishing the tournament. She was in the lead and they, they bring it on right then. And I think that's what was really infuriating is how they brought it on. Mm -hmm. And so that's why you hear her saying verbally, is this, is this a joke? Like it was almost like an April Fool's joke. Right. I couldn't believe that they were doing that right then and there. So this is really infuriating for everyone in the golf community because how they did it, but also the rules of golf are ever changing. But golf is an honor system and you do right. what you know as the rules to be. But if and, you're caught. But the thing is she didn't do it on purpose. And okay. she was very clear in saying that. I didn't do this on purpose. I didn't even know I did it. Mm. And it's, I mean, but that would be a common like, mistake. But is it something like, it, you know, they say ignorance doesn't excuse you. From no, the, you absolutely know? not. No. I mean, that's not because I mean, I, you know, I think when it, you have a you have a ball yeah. and it is literally here. I mean, you're put you're putting a marker there. Right. You're putting the ball behind it and then you're putting it back down. This is an amazing tournament. There's so much stress at hand yeah. whenever you're in the middle of this tournament and she's in the lead. All eyes mm -hmm. are on her. All cameras are on her. People are following her. Lexi, Lexi, Lexi. So when this happens, and then actually the South Korean came back and won, which I was so, I was so upset. I really thought she was going to win and take it all anyway, which would have been a, you know, a huge feat in itself well, to come back with her four strokes winning. back. I mean, this kept her from winning, It right? did. Ultimately, yeah. it did. And the South Korean that actually did win the championship, you, she was actually interviewed after. And it was so bad because she said, this feels so wrong. Mm. So she wasn't even actually able to enjoy her big win right. because it just felt wrong. Yeah. And for the winner to take that place and say, you know what? It just doesn't feel right. Well, I mean, right. the winner's going to, I mean, they're not going to say, I shouldn't win. Now, here's the thing, no, though. No, I mean, some would say, I mean, I played my darndest. I played the best. I did what I could, and then they move on. And, you know, I mean, so well, that was what was really Here's the thing sad. that I think is crazy. In golf, they're going back a day before mm -hmm. and changing things. In basketball, in football, in baseball, all these sports. It doesn't matter if it happened the day before, the week before. They have actually come out and said, we got the call wrong. Mm -hmm. Every sport has done it, but what's done is done. They don't change a score. They don't yeah. change an outcome. They don't, they don't change the trophy anything. away. Why mm -mm. does golf change 
something that happened 24 hours, two days before. I think that's a bit ludicrous. I think, and that was the big thing last night. Yeah. I mean, watching, you know, the golf right. channel and golf now, everybody was on there and so infuriated saying, mm. you know what, this, this shouldn't have been a call that came so late. There needs to be parameters on the length of time that you right. can come back and make a call. That sure. was a missed call. But not only that, it was a call from somebody actually emailing to the right. LPGA tour. That was so, I mean, that's just so wrong in right. so many levels. But that's There's also no sport that happening says, anybody call too. in. You can be a right. referee in the stands. You can be a referee right. at home. Yep. You can be a referee behind right. a camera. You can do whatever you want, and you know what? We'll listen to you. And I think and that that's, that's what was wrong. That's right. the issue, in not just golf, but across all sports. When you set a precedent that a camera phone or a video from a viewer or from But that's the only one that fan. is happening. But I'm saying no it, sets a, right. it sets right. a precedent right. and yeah. saying, you know what, I saw this, what did you guys see? Right. And it could begin to change right. the sport. So that's what we want to avoid and, and that is sports And that's goers. happening more and more. I mean, they're, they're actually calling it in some reports an epidemic. Mm -hmm. yeah. So those are the two issues right there that actual viewers could call in and tell on a golfer and that they can actually change something yeah, you know like that happened that. two days before a day before bad so. call bad wow. call it's going to be interesting to see if golf starts changing things oh they'll change they have to now right <laughs> now they have to determined. they have to give they have They're to give a, to a time limit yeah. all right <laughs> interesting okay well here's another story that's getting a lot of people fired up and with two very different opinions a recent profile in the washington post on mike pence's wife karen pence revealed that the vp will not eat alone with the woman other than his wife and he also won't attend events that feature alcohol unless she's there Penn says he does so to respect his wife and their 32-year marriage. Now, this story got even hotter when conservative blogger Matt Walsh weighed in on Twitter, asking if there's ever an, quote, appropriate reason for a married person to go out for a meal alone with someone of the opposite sex. He's faced some major backlash over this. So... It's an interesting topic, especially in light of this all coming out and a Washington Post feature, Mike Pence. Mm -hmm. So, Henny, what are your thoughts on this whole issue? Okay, when I first read one of the stories, I was like, what the what? But as I read on, I realized kudos to him. He is, number one, respecting himself. He's respecting his marriage because as women, I think we could all agree whether you're married or not, if your husband, your spouse, your boo, your, your partner, whomever, if they're at dinner alone with someone else, you are going to feel extremely uncomfortable and you're inviting issues into your marriage. I don't care who you are, there is going to be some trust issues there. So I applaud him for that. Now, also I read an article um, today in uh, nationalreview.com and someone who actually used to work for him back in 2009 said that when she started working for him, he laid the ground rules to all new employees. Don't try it. I'm not doing it. This is what it is. So this is just his thing. It's his for legacy. It's what he go by and he keep confusion down. Now, all the comments I read today from people backlash being extra sensitive. You know, we're a sensitive America right now. So for everyone being extra sensitive, some women are like, oh, why can't men and women be friends? Sit down somewhere. Because you know if that was your man, you feel the same way. But he's not saying that men and women can be friends. No, 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 I no. Mean, but people who it, are taking it that yeah, way, absolutely. that's the comments right. online that right. they're trying to go there with this. Right. They're trying to make something out he's, of nothing. I mean, in his defense, and I don't defend Mike Pence often. <laughs> right. But in his defense... That's what's right for him. I mean, back in my younger days, I would have been right one of those for any people. Marriage. I would have, well, not necessarily. I mean, whether I was single or, you know, I have a boyfriend now, I feel like if I'm having dinner with someone else, uh, a man of the opposite sex, I'm, I mean, my boyfriend trusts me that nothing's going to happen. But whatever it is, if that's what you as um, in your marriage or your relationship feel, if you feel uncomfortable with that, maybe it's not just his wife feels uncomfortable, he doesn't want anybody else to get that impression. Because, mm -hmm. you know, people can see you and go, oh, I saw it. Yep, that's think, exactly yeah. what would happen. Oh, but if it's just, that's what they have laid out. That's right for them. As long as he's not trying to I make think a judgment. I think it's because he's high profile, though. I, that's what my best okay. on it is. And that's it. I, I mean, just because he is a politician, he's been a politician for so many years, mm -hmm. I'm sure he's learned by either maybe himself walking into something or someone else because we've seen it. All these oh, politicians yeah. and many stars, many celebrities. For instance, I was um, at an event and, uh, oh gosh, what's the guy? Um, oh my God, no, I'm, I'm mind blank. Tiger Woods. Um, no, the guy that was um, singing, um, oh my, Blurred Lines. Blake Show. Well, oh, no, oh, the Blurred, blurred Lines, lines. Guy. Uh, Robin um, Thicke. Yeah. Robin Thicke. Oh, okay, oh, so Robin Thicke was Robin Thicke was taking photos with a bunch yeah. of us. And I was like, hey, I got a photo with him. And I was oh, like, yeah. can I give you a hug? And he's like, you know what? I can't. 
Right. He's like, because of he what got happened. Burnt. He got because fried. Because of what happened with his relationship right, yes. and his ex-wife getting his really lesson. upset about women coming up to him. Because I'm sure I'm not the first one asking for a hug and Robin or Pete a kiss or trouble. whatever. Of and course. He got in trouble and that's why you said no. He was so, doing more than just hugging. Uh -huh. But that's the thing. So if, imagine if yeah. I had given him a hug mm -hmm. just to say, you know, hey, thanks so much. Mm -hmm. And then as somebody had snapped a photo sure. of that, that would have been on the front page of whatever newspaper, you know, for you know their entertainment. Mm -hmm. His girlfriend would have seen that. And imagine what would have happened. So I think that's probably a big part of it. Yeah. And then it's really the godly part of it as well because he is a man of God. Mm -hmm. So I do think it's it's interesting that the first um, the the first part of this article that we all read to get I mean like we we mm -hmm. got this in in our email bank um, saying that it was like he thought that he was such a stud that these women couldn't you know say no to him and that's why he was saying no, I can't no. be photographed. That was the reason that this came out to begin with and I, I'm with you Angelia I mean I, we've both been in situations and all of us have been in situations like I don't need to be photographed in a situation where I'm drinking with another guy or I don't you know, know if it's even photographed I, or if, for, if I were married we live in an I wouldn't even feel comfortable having dinner or lunch with another married but man. But can you imagine being a celebrity or a politician? And that is in mm -hmm. his multiplied a hundred times. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah, it yeah. becomes a whole, a whole different other thing. set of, yes. of, of problems. Okay, mm -hmm. so here's something else that I can't wait to hear your thoughts on. How do you ladies feel about divorced couples who still take family pictures together? Yep, it is a thing, honey. The topic came up after an Alaska mom posted a series of photos with her ex-husband and their son. She explained that she and her ex, they still take photos together to, so that their son, when they grow up, he'll have a sense of respect and love for the family. Now, the couple says that they're going to continue this tradition even if either of them finds a new partner in the future. Now, of course, not everyone agrees with this couple that, has, that this is the best idea. Um, yeah, no, no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no. 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 Okay, so. Uh, no. <laughs> Just no. Just no. I mean, it's really interesting. I, I read this article and I saw it and my first reaction was like, no, just no, no. Just like you did, just just mm -hmm. now. And then. I was like, there's no way. So I asked my kid, who happens to be visiting, uh, he's here with me um, for his spring break, and I said, hey, I just wanna, he's 13, and I said, you know, I just wanna get your thought on this. We're divorced, I've been divorced for a couple of years, th three or four years now. The mom, uh, my ex-husband is remarried, so it's a whole new family situation. Mm -hmm. But I said to Avery, I'm like, how would you feel if, if um, mm -hmm. your dad and I continued to make these photos? He, and I swear to you guys, and I have it in a text because he texted me. That's how mm -hmm. we communicate these days. Do you have any evidence? <laughs> I have <laughs> evidence. In, in the same house? In, no, no, he was oh, on okay. the road with my parents because okay, we good, were good, going good. camping. But he said, he's like, it wouldn't bother me. I, it wouldn't bother me, and I said, it wouldn't be awkward. It would be awkward for me. He said, well, mm -hmm. the only time it would be awkward for me if, if it, as, is if it was awkward for you, but mm. for me, I wouldn't mind that at all. I I'm just think fine that's, with that, that's and I'm like, deception. oh, okay, so you are way more adult than I am, because no way <laughs> well, would I, I think it would be He fun. wasn't married to I think it would be great <laughs> to have pictures situation. of in the entire family engulfed. So say you have your new family, mm -hmm. he has his new family, and you share children together, and you all get together for holidays, and you have family photos, but I think it would be odd to actually be married or to be in a relationship with someone and to have pictures of the ex and the kids and your new spouse or boyfriend or whatever it is and sitting in your living room. I think that would be a little off-putting for me. I, I would be yeah, going, I, I and I've it. had great relationships with my ex's wives or you know, previous wives and I've had you know great relationships with the kids, but I just find that a little odd. Well, I think I it's too. I think it's when it gets to the point where they're saying, even if we have, you know, if we remarry, we're yeah, still gonna have yeah, these, yeah. I, feel, I, I feel like now, You've taken, like, I get the concept, and I think it's a great concept, coming from a person who was divorced, and my parents for many years, you know, couldn't talk, couldn't stand each other. If they had done something like this, I would have been okay with it, like your son. Um, but then to say, well, if we get married or whatever, we're going to still do this. Well, now you're kind of disrespecting this the new relationship. Person, right? Maybe do pictures of everybody, like you were saying, because now you're saying, well, that doesn't really mean it. I, I don't know. It's... I think it's a great concept, and kudos to them to be able to get along to do that. But when they start getting into other relationships, they might want to rethink things a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to work. I, don't know. I, mean, I don't know. They, I don't they, like they it. can say I... that now. They don't know what the future holds. But if either one of them get a new boo, and they really love this person, and that person have a problem with it, what do you do? 
you have a, you have a choice to make. Do you continue to do pictures with your ex nope. because you're trying to satisfy her? I just do you don't understand the reality behind it. Like, why are there you is doing none. that? So There's none. I get it. It's not for Interesting. me. Interesting. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see what happens if we hear more about that story. All right, coming up next, she is a much smaller woman with a new attitude. Wait until you see this reality star's transformation. It is really something.